Have you ever wondered why things seem to go well for us when we don't really need them? And when we desperately need something, it often feels out of reach. This paradox is a common experience, and an understanding it can transform your life when you really want something. The underlying statement is, I don't have it right now, which creates a sense of lack. This perception of lack keeps you in a state of wanting and prevents you from achieving what you desire. However, you can learn to quit this victim mentality and enter a state of creation where miracles happen. When you feel strongly about something that happened to you, especially if it's tied to strong emotions, your brain takes a vivid mental picture of it. These emotionally charged moments create long-term memories, wiring your brain to think about these experiences repeatedly. Your thoughts continuously return to these moments because your emotions signal to your brain that these events are significant. Your body also responds to these strong emotional reactions. When you experience intense emotions, your body feels them deeply. It's as if your emotions are communicating directly with your body, causing it to react and feel in specific ways. Whether it's sadness, happiness, or anger, some people believe they cannot control their feelings. But that's not entirely true. Prolonged emotional responses to past events can affect your mood and even become part of your identity. You might find yourself in a perpetual bad mood because you're stuck in an emotional reaction to something that happened long ago. If you keep experiencing the same emotions for an extended period, they become ingrained in who you are. People around you might notice and say, why is he always grumpy? The reason is that you've held on to those feelings for so long that they've become a part of your personality. But you can change how long you stay upset about something. It's about training your brain to let go of those emotions faster and focusing on the present moment. When something bad happens, your body and brain enter survival mode, alerting you to pay attention to potential future threats. However, if you spend too much time worrying about past negative experiences, you start expecting the worst. Your brain becomes stuck on repeat, constantly thinking about all the bad things that could happen. When you replay upsetting memories, your body reacts as if these events are happening all over again. Your brain sends out the same signals, and your body feels the same emotions, creating a cycle that traps you in the past. To change how you feel, you need to change how you think. Instead of dwelling on past negative experiences, focus on the positive aspects of your present life. This shift in focus can help you break free from old emotional patterns and lead a happier, more positive life. Your brain and body often operate on autopilot, replaying the same emotional records day after day. These old feelings trigger the same thoughts, which bring back the same feelings, creating a cycle that's difficult to break. Breaking this cycle requires making different choices than you did before, which can feel uncomfortable and strange. Your brain is wired to connect certain thoughts and feelings, so when you have a thought, it triggers an emotion, and that emotion tells your body how to feel. This cycle repeats over and over, making it hard to break free. When you decide to make a change, your body might resist because it's used to the old way of doing things. Your body is like a record of all your past experiences and emotions, remembering how you felt and what you did in specific situations. Even if you're not consciously aware of it, your body resists change to keep you in your comfort zone. But pushing past this resistance and embracing change can open you to new possibilities. Your body doesn't distinguish between real and imagined events. It responds to your emotions and thoughts as if they were real. When you keep feeling the same emotions repeatedly, you're telling your body that those feelings are important. Letting go of these feelings is not as simple as wanting to stop feeling them. 
Your body is used to following the same patterns and resists change. Stepping into the unknown can be scary, which is why many people prefer familiar feelings, even if they are negative. However, you cannot wait for your circumstances to change before you start feeling better. You need to start feeling empowered, abundant, and loved right now, even before you see these changes in your life. When you imagine yourself feeling the way you want to feel, your brain starts to believe it's already happening. You're essentially programming your brain for success and happiness. With consistent practice, you can rewire your brain to create the future you want. Your brain stops being stuck in the past and becomes a roadmap to your dreams. Teaching your body what the future feels like before it happens is essential. You can't wait for success or love to come before feeling worthy or whole. In the old way of thinking, people believed they had to wait for external changes to feel better. Internally, in the new way of thinking, your thoughts and feelings can change your reality. Instead of being a victim of your circumstances, you become the creator of your world. Believing that your thoughts and feelings have the power to shape your life is a game. Changer. This belief transforms your reality. You might wonder why your dreams feel so distant. Your brain is busy calculating the effort and time needed to achieve them, making the gap seem large. However, closing this gap means getting closer to something special. As you move in this direction, the things you thought you wanted may seem less important. This practice of embodying the energy of your future in the present moment can lead to significant changes in your life. When you consistently embody this energy, people will notice a change in you. They'll see that you're not the same person anymore. You're becoming who you truly are, which is powerful. My goal is to help people shift from their old paths to new ones where incredible things can happen. I want people to fully commit to this journey and experience the magic for themselves. I provide the tools and environment for this transformation because people instinctively know there's more to life than what they currently experience. When I started on this journey, people were curious about how thoughts create reality. It was a philosophical concept back then but now it's about making it happen. Sharing the science behind this process and empowering others to create their own reality is my mission. If I can explain this concept clearly, without superstition or old beliefs, people truly understand it. They know what to do and why they're doing it. Once you understand the what and why, the how becomes much easier. Helping someone move past their emotions is key to guiding them across the river of change. Overcoming those emotions and leaving the past behind is where the real work lies. Our studies have shown amazing changes in people's brains before and after making these changes. In people's brains before and after making these changes. When we're stressed, our brains go haywire, causing miscommunication between different parts. But when your heart and brain are in sync, they send powerful waves of energy, putting you in a creative state. When your heart is in sync, it creates a magnetic field that extends up to three meters. This field is a coherent signal made of frequency which carries information expressing gratitude for something before it happens, tricks your body into believing it has already occurred. When something good happens, we naturally feel grateful which means it has already happened. Teaching people to express gratitude before things happen opens their hearts, creating a field that can carry intentions like health, wealth, relationships, or peace. People often doubt and hold on to old habits, but confronting these obstacles and crossing the river of change allows their hearts to open more and their brains to become coherent. Achieving this balance connects them to their inner wisdom. When your heart and brain are in sync, you feel connected to something greater, no longer separate. The goal is to become so skilled at this 
that nothing can shake your inner peace. Then whatever you put out into the world becomes an experiment with destiny. Living as a creator, rather than in survival mode, is like a graceful dance where you let go of everything you think you know and dive into the present moment. In this moment, time loses its grip and you enter a realm of infinite possibilities. In this realm, past, present, and future blend into one, and every moment is ripe with potential. Once you've experienced this shift, you can never go back to seeing the world the same way again. To embrace this transformation, focus on the process of change rather than just solving problems. Understand the formula for change and make it part of your daily routine. Healing and growth become natural outcomes of your personal journey. With consistent practice, you can achieve remarkable changes in your life, transforming your reality and unlocking a world of new possibilities.